jump to episode three for YouTube. Yay. Oh my gosh. October 18th, Wright and Co. Law Offices. What a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here then? Let's get to the studios. What do you think we should do? What, what do I, huh? Why don't we do what you just said? We gotta get to scoop on this director and producer. Then there's no point hanging out here. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information. Okay, so let's move. Let's go to the main gate. October 18, 216, Global Studios Main Gate. No one's here. Right, now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey, in the guard station, look, she left her donuts. What, I wasn't gonna eat them? The computer that runs studio security cameras. Huh? Looks like it's been turned off for the day. Security guard station. Miss Old Bag must like your junk food. There's a mountain. Okay. Let's get moving again. Let's go towards Studio 2. Studio 1 entrance. Hey, Nick. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So, Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Outside Studio 2. This is Studio 2? I thought so. Doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer right over there. It looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are we sure this is a studio? Let's start by examining things. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it runs fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? An incinerator. Apparently, they just put this one in. It's already covered in suit. They must not clean it much. It looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steak too? What is it with steak around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. Not seeing... Oh. There's a big 2 painted here. Probably because this is Studio 2. Probably. It doesn't look anything like a studio. Well, it could be an outdoor set. Phoenix. These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Yeah, it's bent out of place somewhere. 
On closer inspection, this trailer looked like it's been here for a while. I don't think it's part of some temporary film set. Okay. Nick, let's go inside. You think it's okay? Oh well, it's locked. Aw, shocks. There has to be more to examine then. Windows? Okay. Let's go inside Studio One. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it's a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Snick. Okay, let's go to the employee area. Global Studios employee area. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey! Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh, <laughs> don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, oh. <laughs> Actually, she's just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. Uh, I know. I'm not good with handiwork, some assistant, right? Yeah, but you work on the props and the backdrops, right? R right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh. Oh, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right, I won't. I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbag. Right, see you later then. Good luck with your investigation. So the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through the drain. So it seems, I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick, if that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that's the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him though, don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can't? Whoa, she's serious. Uh-oh. We'll leave it be. We only just repaired it, and if we take it off, that assistant will get yelled at by you-know-who. Yeah, I guess so. Wow, I didn't expect her to take it that hard. Maybe we should rip it off. You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes. He yeah. There, that should make the kids happy. The things we do is off, and I know who did it. Okay, let's go into the dressing room. October 18th, dressing room. This is where the steel samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powers says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. She's got a point.
supermarket tabloids. Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Leave those alone. Wolf men found on Mars? I'll have to buy that issue. Okay. Let's move... Oh. Let's move back to the main gate. Oh, hello. Ho ho, you look a little out of place. It's a closed, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. Let's talk to her. The fanboy. Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windy Bag's eyes flash when she sees him. She's a, she has a bit of trouble catching him, though. I heard something about the... I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room. I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio had seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director. More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for the producer. So how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over in the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? So there is something odd. Now that she's here... Oh. Uh, let's jump to the detention center. Ask a couple questions. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm. Sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yes. So let's ask about the fanboy. Do uh, fanboys sneak into the studio often? No, not that I know of. That security lady is pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were hanging around often? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Was the director present in the morning run-throughs? Yes. Yes, he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? But, well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I'd hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. Uh, I see. Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? N no, I sure hope not. Regarding the murder weapon, it, yes. Is it heavy, that spear? It's pretty hefty, yeah. I don't think the average person would be able to swing it around effectively. And that spear that broke, that's the spear that broke or something during the morning run through. Oh, yes. I goofed on a round kick, you see. I broke the spear. The security lady fixed it for me though, right away. With duct tape, we heard. Regarding this photograph, yes, 
This is truly, this really, truly, absolutely isn't you, right? R right. I was sleeping in my dressing room the whole time, honest. But who else could have worn it? Your costume was in the, your dressing room, right? Yes. I guess they snuck in and took it while I was asleep. But who? We found this card key in your dressing room. Oh, that's mine, yes. Can people outside the studio get these cards? I don't think so. Even I have to return the card. Once the show's done filming, that is. Hmm. Okay, that's it there. So I guess it's time to try back. New detail. This place is deserted. Eek! N N Nick! What was that noise? Sounds like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. H hello No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. Okay. I can see the computer that runs security cameras. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would not knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. I really want the key in that trailer. Maybe next time. Um, not really sure what that is, sorry. You work with props, right? About that murder weapon. You mean the samurai spear? Yeah, it's a prop, but it's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. So you'd have to be pretty strong to use a weapon like that, it sounds like. Why is Mr. Powers the only person I can think of? Wow, they gave a lawyer one of those card keys? Well, I'm sort of borrowing it. I see. You better be careful not to lose that. They're very strict about those card keys here. Could you take a look at this? That's Mr. Powers. Why is he dragging his leg like that? What is this, anyways? Never mind. I'm not sure what I what I'm trying to look for here.
Trying to figure out where to go next is... Awful. That automatically takes pictures of people here. It took two pictures on the day of the murder before the actual time of death. One of them was a steel samurai, the other was a grade school boy. It doesn't seem to be switched on today. The studio mascot. Apparently it's a monkey of some kind. I've never seen a monkey with a nose like that before. Why don't they put the head back on? Maybe we should ask the assistant. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure we really want her fixing anything. And you probably need a crane to move that thing. Probably so. They said Studio 2 was down this path. The monkey head is in the way, but we should probably be able to get by without a problem. This monkey head is really heavy. It did knock that tree over when it fell. Both of these, the monkey head and the tree, fell the day of the murder, didn't they? That's what Detective Gumshoe said. Where they found Jack Hammer's body. It says, welcome. They let people in here when not filming, right? Nick, let's come here someday. What do you say? Sure, if that security lady lets us in. Okay. Back to the main gate. Running out of places to go to. Oh, here we go. WTF? Who are you dudes la- Oh my good. Oh no. What am I looking at? What did I just read? Why is elite speech a thing? Well, we... Wait, you first. Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. What even, lemurs? How can you not know your great Sam Manila? I make the lead shows the Steel Samurai mine, RTFC. But really? You're the Sal Manella? I'm so sorry. I just, you look so sorry. No, qu no, no. Quite all right, really. It's fine, ROFL. What is it? You know, on closer inspection. Hmm, yeah. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> hey, did you do a lot of cosplay? Because that costume rocks us. <laughs> I'm disturbed. Rock sores? What, what are... Hey, you're drooling. <laughs> LOL. Buffer overrun. <laughs> you chickened my creative powers. Yes, yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess. The sequel to Seal Samurai. Pink Princess. Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. <clears throat> What am I looking at? R-O-F-L! M-L! The Pink Princess? Why, it's gotta be a little Old Tokyo. Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. Did you know it, this anything unusual on the day of the murder? 
Oh, I know who you dudes are. The security lady. <coughs> Told you about us, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> I was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. A T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, suck sores. I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does suck sores mean? No idea. Anyways, I was in the meeting from noon till after two, after four, with the producer and some big wigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated 2.30 p.m. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. About the producer who was in the meeting with you. Oh, you mean... D. Vasquez? She's a genius. Mad skills. Uh... All the way. Scary, though. <laughs> she brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we went together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. Who exactly are these bigwig people you keep mentioning? Uh, the bosses, the boss over at the network, and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. <sighs> Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all great hair geezers, Skell. Sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. This is WP, right? How do you know? Well, look, he's obviously dragging his foot. Oh, right, the director would know about the injury. I try not to pay attention to things that don't interest me. Lol, LOL. But why are you staring at me like that? The snacks, there was twice this much here before. Uh, I, uh, I ate them. They would pass their expiration date anyways, R-O-F-L. She's biting her lips and staring at me with tears swelling in her eyes. <sighs> Aha! You again. How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost. I can't do the voice anymore, my throat hurts. You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume, told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wearing a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. Guess I would rule out her being the murderer. Anyways, know this, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight of insult. And you won't get any information. My lips are sealed. Sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Hmm. <laughs> 
The doctor. What about the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder? I'm taking him down. Nick, I think she's losing it. Uh, can I? Thank you, follower and Mr. Blue Eyes, uh, for the follow. Hey, no touching. <sighs> there was a sound in the trailer, and I need the key. I'm... Where'd she go? The girl. Hey! H hey wait! I bet he came in through that drain. Hey, um, kiddo. What's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Huh? But you... you are a kid. What a rude little brat. There's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. H hippie fashion? Nick. I am playing this directly on my Nintendo Switch. I got this as a birthday gift from my friend. It is a download from the Nintendo eShop. Nintendo, I think I'm being... Uh, Nintendo. Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Call me kiddo again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. Okay. Let's talk to him. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai. How dare you utter that name, evildoer. What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai's side. Ha! 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 You can't fool me! Okay, then what's the last... What's the last line said in the innkeeper... Words. Have it... As well. Oh! I'm using... A device called the Avon Media 2 Plus. I got it a few years ago at Best Buy. I plug in all my hardware directly to the uh, small box, and then it's a USB uh, connection to my computer, and then I use, uh, what is this app called now? I'm blanking. Streamlabs OBS to stream. Okay, then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! Easy. Like some fries with that? Hmm, not bad, kiddo. Watch it. What are they doing? You heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? I use an Elgato HD60, but it won't pick up any signals from your switch. You can't figure out why. Maybe it's your wires. Have you tried plugging your HDMI cables directly into a uh, TV or monitor to see if it would uh, connect? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... He... He always... The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But... But there's no way I'm telling you, losers. What? Wait. Let me go. He's gone. Huh. Something fell off the table when he bumped in into it on his way out. A, a bottle? Why was this sitting there, I wonder? Label reads sleeping pills. Yeah, it works fine that way. It was working at one point, but then it stopped with the capture device. Take away. Uh, it's fine. I like talking to people on my chats. 
it might take away from my investigation and I might end up missing a detail or two, but I'd rather chat and talk to people who will follow me and want to chat. It's fun. Anyways, what was that kid saying? He saw everything? Okay. So let's go to... Let's go into the dressing room? Actually, no. Let's go back... To... Huh. Where's that old windbag? Odd of her to leave her post. H hey! Nick, that was her. S stop, whippersnapper. Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. If you're li liking this, you should also try the Great Attorney. I also have that. I'm going to be streaming the entire uh, Phoenix Wright collection. We're going to start with the trilogy, and then we're going to move on to Chronicles. Sounds like she's chasing that boy. Natch! Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. Okay, now that nobody's here, let's get that card key. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to the trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Okay, now we go to trailer 2. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work here. It opened. Great, let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. <laughs> Not that eager. Okay, into the trailer. Ooh. Eek! S someone's in here. Names. Uh, our names? Uh, we're WP's lawyers, and, um... I see. And who might you be? D. Vas Vasquez. The producer. D. Vasquez. She's quite beautiful. Yeah, definitely blew my mind. I thought she was going to be some sort of creep person like the director. An old movie poster, Dynamite Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster's quite old. Wow, it's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. A typical summer romance with a samurai on a horse? Another old movie poster. The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh. My. God. That movie was the best. It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was very accomplished singer, you know. Singing samurai stars? What's next? Ninja Ballet? Oh, we can't see those. Looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures on how much the set costs. I can't believe they spent that much money on those sets. This is where they had that meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Nothing in here that could be a clue. Just some paper cups, crumpled documents. The glass is frosted. I can't see outside. This far into October, the dimming daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. Okay, I think I've observed everything possible. Time to talk to V. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script? I excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. Uh, s script? 
The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss Vasquez. It's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV. The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director, Sal Manella, was it? What uh, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick, are all people in the entertainment business this weird? If you're asking me, no, they're not. It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there someplace else we have to check? It, yeah. Wait. Yes. If you see Manila, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I, I don't think I like her. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, we'll give it to him if we see him. The memo. Bring me the script of episode 13. Outside the studio. Outside studio one. The main gate. Let's go to the detention center and quickly ask him about this. I excuse me. Thank you for showing me that. Whatever it is. Way I could help you. Sorry. Interesting. I was kind of hoping he'd mention something about the... Uh, the, uh... Sleeping pills. That tells me he probably doesn't know it or the game didn't want you to go show him. Okay. Here, I got this from the producer. Bring me... Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13. Episode 13? Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. <laughs> Uh-oh, my... Why does it have to be... Why does there have to be cuss words in a kid's game? My ass is pwned if I don't find it. Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. Well, that would be easy. He's been in area two. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick. Hey, look, that's a chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. The director, Maya. Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Aha! Found it, Nick. The script. Good work. Script placed in pocket. Okay. We got the script. Let's head back to the producer. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah. Script handed to D. Vasquez. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on. What's the big deal? Who do you think you are anyways? And and do you even know who we are? 
powers as lawyers. Right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just... Well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder. Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. M oh, you saw Mr. Monkey on your way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey, the monkey with the broken head. All oh, right, that was an ori what an original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capice? Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer. Stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane. A crane came just after three to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate, corroborate my story. But wait, what if the hell head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death? Very well, come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. It is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15. That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we are innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio in Studio One at 2.30. See? Goodbye. What do we do now, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early to give up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. M Maya, it's you. What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we real we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, but no way am I telling you losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find a way of bargaining him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Now I'm more... Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. Okay. Global Studios Main Gate. Huff. Puff. Huff. Puff. Huff. Puff. Huff. Puff. Huff. Puff. Huff. Puff. Huff. What's wrong? Huff. Puff. Huff. Puff. Whippersnapper. 
has been chasing that boy this whole time? Huff, puff, when, when I c catch him, I huff. Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. Huff, puff, I, I got a hostage now, whippersnapper. A hostage? What's this about a hostage? Well, when that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll come back. For this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. Might I? No! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything that might trade for her? I wonder. That! That's a card! Studio One? Right, a card key to Studio One. I, I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit... He died. I was his... his fan. You don't have... You don't have your own card, Miss Old Bag? Studio One isn't my turf. You'll let me borrow... borrow it then? If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. Why don't you let her borrow the... Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Old Bag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this and we're even. Deal? What's this? A steel samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figured it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. May I have use? I may have use for this. Right. I'm off. There she goes, hobbling towards the studio. So he's probably in the employee area. There he is. Hey. Hey, you. W wait a sec. Phoenix, was that the boy? Yes, his name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Be sure to be here somewhere. Found you. Damn it, he's getting away. Come back. There, he's back. How did she... Hey there. Would you mind helping us out, please? Uh, I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Maya. Maya Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Let's present the item first. Cody, this look familiar? Hey, my you are. You are, huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. If I give you, I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card. By offering me something I already own, you're in effect eschewing the very basis of a consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. What do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever. I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble. If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are, on, are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare... Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? The 
The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's the, um, the bomb. Ha! <laughs> what would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell at a kid like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. So do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Looks like a little persuasion's necessary. Maybe a bribe. Move to Studio 2. Ah, so much moving! Oh, hi! Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? The, um, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? Like, she's... Is she even the same person as before? Um, nope, she's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. So I'm guessing this person is a medium. Maybe you have a special card? Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. Yeah, a set from one of each card. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. That's it, that's the card I need. You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Huh? I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am, I need that card. P please, I beg you, please trade with me. T trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I even, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare, please. Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everybody getting so desperate about? Okay, really? Th thanks. Then this is for you. Oh my god. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah, yeah it does. Now to get all the way back to the... Employee area. I have your ultra rare card. Yeah, so wait, the that's it. That's the last ultra rare premium card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Okay, how about a trade? You're on. I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. What happened? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody? Cody, he needs to know just because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice too. I, I saw, I saw everything. We might get some useful information out of him yet. So, you like the Steel Samurai, he's so cool. I, uh, I guess? You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. You like him too, don't you? Huh? Oh, me? Yeah, I um, love the Steel Samurai. So tell me your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai. Right, come on, think of something. It's kind of nature, what a guy. Totally. 
He looks so tough, but inside he's as gentle as a kitten. Yeah. So what else do you like about him? Got to think of something. I like it when uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, wazam! The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out. I'm a f It's my fan album. It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. The stupid publicity stunts where they, where they beat each other up in public. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. I got them all, and I never miss one. A perfect collection. Check it out, my new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai, Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. What's with people always giving stuff to Maya? What a life. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around 2. I had to come in through the woods around the back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost though. I was in there for maybe half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The, the Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. He used his samurai spear, like he always does. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast I got scared. I went home after that. Uh, I see. It must have been hard on for you. Man, you saw the... You say those nice things. But it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure that this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who it could have been is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the stand, the wit... On the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness. And he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Wah! That didn't go so well. So we're back to zero leads, and now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we gonna do, Maya? Well, I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. C come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you re really believe Fe Mr. Powers is innocent? I don't know. I never expected things to go this badly for Powers' case. I'm not sure we can win this one. Phoenix, if you don't believe him, who will? Uh-oh, she's mad. I believe! Of course he is! That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. We'll see you in court then. Great, thanks, Maya. See you soon. Okay.